So over here you can see that I have a picture and there's a picture of a girl with pimples on her face. So let's say what I want to do is I want to heal it out or remove it out. And in that case, what you can do is you can utilize the healing tool. So to do that, you can uh, go around and click and hold on the clone tool um, button right here. And over here you can see that healing is an option. So what healing allows you to do is it allows you to take a sample. Let's say for example, let me take the sample of the clear skin right here. Then what happens is that it takes the sample and then what happens is that it copies out the texture right here of that particular area so that I can heal it out as you can see right here. So now it doesn't copy out the color. So even if I were to go around onto the dark area right here, you can see that it doesn't copy out the color, but just the texture. So it matches out the color right here. So you, what you can do is you can easily heal out right here. So now you can see that I can take more areas right here. And as I go around, the alignment is set to none. But I can go around and set to aligned as well. So now wherever I take, let's say, for example, a sample, what happens is that as I click, you can see that the alignment area right here, the sample area moves along as well, even if I were to let go of the mouse. So you can go around and move this out over here, just like this. And now you can see that I can simply clear out the pimple right here. But if I were to go around, you can see that it copies out the texture right here, just like this. So now I just want to make sure that I copy the texture that I want. Apart from that, you can also go around and see registered. So if I were to go around and click right here, then it is in the registration mode right here, uh, which is for registering the sample. Then you got fixed as you can see right here, which actually uses a particular area as a brush. So I can go around and then utilize it as a brush as you can see to go around and cover up the thing right here just like this. Let me just go around and press Ctrl Z right here just like this. And this is what you have. So I'll just go around, I'm back right here, and you can see that I can go around and brush it out right here. But it does not give much a natural texture. So usually aligned or none is a best way to go. So now if I were to do this, then it actually goes around and copies out the texture right here, which is what I want when I heal something. So that is how you can go around and utilize the healing tool inside of GIMP. So I hope you guys learned something as always. And as always, please like, comment, share, and subscribe.